Some Mainers are still sifting through what they've lost due to floodwaters damaging their homes and businesses. In Gardner, a U.S. Geological Survey crew estimates the Kennebec River's water level is still about 15 feet higher than normal. News Storming Sam Olson joins us live outside one restaurant in Gardner that was devastated by this week's weather. Sam. Hi, Zach. As you said, I'm in Gardner and I'm right across the street from the Depot Pub, where the owner estimates they suffered about $100,000 worth of flood damage. He said before this week, flood levels have only come up to the back of his parking lot, but this time around, he wasn't so lucky. You know, this happened so fast. A flood that the depot owner Steve Casey says he hasn't experienced here in nearly two decades of doing business along the Kennebec River. In 18 years, it's never come up over over the door. So this is the kitchen here. Casey and his staff got here early Tuesday morning to find two feet of water inside. It went up. I think the flood lines are the lines like right here. So it went up to like here in the building. And then all of a sudden we heard this what sounded like a a waterfall went down the basement and it was just coming in like Niagara Falls. Just watch your step. Within two hours, this basement was completely full of water. We lost all of our equipment down here. Our walk-in cooler has all of our beer in it and it's completely like ruined. <laughs> While they continued to clean out the basement Thursday. Mark the high water mark. Right down the street, a U.S. Geological Survey crew was out marking how high the water rose in Gardner. We're going to go down around and look at this uh, granite wall. I think there's a good mark down here. Hydrologic surveyor Greg Stewart says the goal is to document evidence of the flooding before it evaporates. See a seed line right here coming across. Stewart says collecting this data is critical to help towns located alongside rivers better plan for future development. You know, obviously there's a lot of communities right here on the Kennebec that are affected by this flood. They're built fairly low. And for those areas built lower than others, these observations will either validate the existing flood insurance studies or will determine if insurers need to adjust their numbers for future flooding. Flooding that is leaving some people picking up the pieces to rebuild what they've worked years to create. Well, it's just, uh, you know, it's just, I, I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. Um, overwhelming. Steve Casey says the next step is to just dry the place out and then assess where they are when they get electricity back. He says they were able to donate a handful of their food to a local food bank. He says it, this is pretty devastating, but he hopes to reopen sometime next week. In Gardner, Sam Olson, New Center, Maine.